All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. You know, guys, it's a new year, and usually when it's a new year, people say it's a new me. I like to say I'm still myself, I'm still Simplistic, but I want to be more optimistic this year. So with that being said, today I'm switching it up. I'm going to try something new, and for the next 24 hours, I'm only going to be eating dollar store foods. So with that being said, I'm very curious to see what kind of foods that they have in there, what I can make, what I can put together. The first place we are starting off here today is the one, the only, the Dollar Tree, baby. Okay, so what I do remember is the food is always located in the back of these stores. I think it's the same here. But also, guys, while you're watching this video, drop a like, subscribe down below. Get me to 2 million subscribers this year. And also, drop a comment if you've ever ate at one of these stores before. And let me know what's your favorite food. All right, since we're starting off with breakfast, I have to think breakfast foods. The thoughts that come to mind when it comes to breakfast. Cereal, toast, an omelet, breakfast burrito, a muffin. Tons of different options in my mind, but the question is, do they have it here? First place I think we should head to is the frozen food section. I just have to point out one thing real quick that already caught my eye. So we have frozen foods in the middle, but if you look to the right and to the left, what is this? This says a dollar and 25 cents. Hold on, hold on. I thought this was the Dollar Tree. I gotta speak to someone. Imagine if I was that petty though. Like I really went to like an employee in the front and I just start cussing her out. There's actually some people in the world that do that. That's kind of crazy. But let's be real, a dollar 25 is still very reasonable. On top of that, they also have the Dollar Tree Plus section where it barely goes up to three and four dollars. And for all my daredevils out there that want to get a little crazy, we got the five dollar section. So as I'm looking through these fridges right now, all I'm seeing is breakfast burritos and that sounds pretty good. So we should probably go with one of those. This one right here is the XX large. It has egg, potato, cheese sauce, and bacon flavors. Hold on. This looks pretty solid. We're going to get this. So the next thing that is catching my eye is the grab it before it's gone. I found some cereal. This thing is also $1.25. My favorite cereal out of all these has to be Honey Nut Cheerios. You know, I'm a little basic, but they're fire to me. They're classic. Excuse me, sir. What's your favorite cereal? Oatmeal? <laughs> you know what's funny? I never liked oatmeal, but you know, I should get into it. I might get into it soon. With our cereal, we need some milk. You can't have cereal without milk. So I'm thinking if we're eating at the dollar store, we have to also buy utensils. We have to buy plates. We have to buy everything that we need to eat from here. Psh, after all the meals that I eat, I'm gonna definitely need one of these. These bad boys come in handy. This might sound weird, but with my breakfast, I low-key want to get some of this caramel flan. If y'all never had flan, it's kind of like a pudding. Being half Mexican, I had it all the time growing up. I'm pretty sure I just found one of the craziest finds of all time. Now that I'm getting a little older, you boys 23 years old now. On some days, I feel like I definitely need more energy, so I want to get a coffee, and I think I just found some. We got this iced latte right here. We got peppermint mocha or regular mocha. I really dislike the thought of coffee tasting like mint, so I'm going to get the regular one. Thank you so much. You as well. The official total of our breakfast came out to only $11. For $11, I was able to get a breakfast burrito, cereal, coffee, milk, a plunger, bowls, plates, knives, spoons, and forks. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I think that's a I think that's a steal. I am by no means a chef or a cook, and I'm very glad that a majority of the things that I got, I can make myself. If I had to boil some water or something, I feel like I would just burn the house down. This actually looks pretty good. I present to you our Dollar Tree breakfast. Little recap from left to right, we got our caramel flan, we got some Cheerios, breakfast burrito, and a freaking coffee. All the meals we're gonna be eating today, I'm gonna be rating out of five stars. First, we're gonna start off with the breakfast burrito. Whoa. Bro, look at the inside of this bad boy right here. A major component that I forgot from the Dollar Tree is some hot sauce or some like tapatio. I usually use one of those to put on my breakfast burritos because it gives it more flavor, but even without it, it tastes pretty good. For a dollar and 25 cents and something that only takes one minute to make, that's valid. Honey Nut Cheerios, a classic. You really can just never go wrong with these. Eating this right here makes me picture myself when I was at my grandma's house in the back of her house watching cartoons. Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel. I'm gonna give you guys my top show from all three of them. Disney Channel has to be Wizards of Waverly Place without a doubt. Number one, it's a good show. And number two, Selena Gomez beautiful but my runner-up would definitely be sweet life of zach and cody if we're talking nickelodeon i'm gonna have to go 1000 percent spongebob if you say anything other than that you're delusional but my runner-up would be drake and josh but when you go to cartoon network that's where it gets pretty hard you got the grim adventures of billy and mandy courage the cowardly dog code name kids next door teen titans ben 10 out of all those i'm gonna say ben 10 that was my favorite show on cartoon network to always watch that dude really had a watch that made him turn into anything like that was fire if you disagree with my top three let me know. For some energy throughout the video, let's crack this bad boy open. The Ice Latte Mocha. I've never seen this brand before, but it just says chill out and enjoy. So that's what I'm going to do. It smells pretty good. Stop playing! Bro, that's actually so good. It tastes like chocolate milk. Last but definitely 
definitely not least, we got our flan. Just check out that consistency. Okay, maybe this one isn't fire. The ones I usually have has a different consistency. This one's tasting kind of mushy. Gonna put that one away. But the overall rating of our dollar store meal for only $11, 1000% a four out of five stars. Super great deals. The food was actually really good. All around, I'm pretty satisfied. Now we just gotta wait till I get hungry again and wait for our lunch. All right, to kill some time between breakfast and lunch, I put up a Q&A on both my Twitter and my Instagram. I always love interacting with you guys. Also, go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. They're both right here. Let's answer a few questions. If you had to choose one fast food restaurant to eat at for the rest of your life, what would it be? If I had to choose one fast food rest of my life, I'm gonna pull a wild card and say Wendy's. Like, I've always been a huge fan of Wendy's and I feel like it's very slept on. You got the four for four combo, four chicken nuggets, a cheeseburger, and a drink. You got Frosties there. You got cookies. I feel like all around, Wendy's is a great quality fast food do you plan on having kids for those who uh, do or do not know i actually do have a kid already his name is beckham that is my son but the crazy situation is he's my kid on youtube it's not in real life definitely at the moment nowhere near ready to have a child or children in my life i can barely handle like what i'm doing but in the future definitely what is your favorite video game now to say favorite video game is kind of crazy because i play video games all my life so i'm just going to start throwing out some of my favorites i love the whole tony hawk pro skater series call of duty modern warfare 2 and call of duty black ops 2 i love literally every single spider-man game that's ever been released i love the 007 games i love skate 3 batman arkham city and all those games there is this one jimmy neutron game i used to grind all the time love that one i loved playing need for speed on my dad's psp i honestly could just keep going and going but those are just some of my favorites what's your number one motivation right now my number one motivation right now is just honestly like me versus myself i feel like every single day i wake up and i'm like how can i one up myself than what i was yesterday i want to see growth i want to see myself transform from this to this and i just want to keep getting better i want to love my life to the fullest and have you guys be along for the ride and that's my main goal another motivation of mine though is i want to come out with clothing very soon that's something i really want to work on what's your biggest fear i feel like my biggest fear is losing a family member that's really close to me so that's going to be the end of today's q a you boys getting hungry it's time for lunch this time around i do not want to go alone so i'm going to meet up with someone all right dad where are we at 99 cent store we are at the 99 cent store dad i'm gonna leave this one up to you and i am going to pick the grub dad what are you feeling today? I don't know. Maybe a little filet mignon. Filet mignon? Yeah. I don't filet. think they have that here. You know, I used to eat here back in the day. Uh huh. I ain't gonna lie. It was good stuff. Ooh. Oh, man. Got fish sticks. Fish sticks, bro. Bro, hot fish. dogs. So you gotta go, you gotta look for the burritos too. Because that's a burrito like right here. This was my life. No, I love those. Look at, so you can put those. People say you put them in the microwave and let them bust for a little bit. Yeah. And then they, when they blow up, that means they're ready. Uh huh. Or you can get them and put a little bit of oil. Bomb. Okay, so we can't get a burrito because I just had one. Man, <laughs> that's the only exception. We can't do that. Let's go back to my childhood. <laughs> Ooh, is that orange chicken? Yeah. Well, we should get this with like rice. We'll get this. Broccoli. Ooh, broccoli it is. White rice. That's it. All right, okay. now we need a drink. Always go with green. Go OG. That's yellow. And green. <laughs> this is green. This is the OG green. <laughs> that's yellow. What are you talking about? <laughs> what does it say? Lemon lime. Lemon lime. How many lemon limes do we know that are, are, are yellow? I guess not a lot. We got all the things needed. Time to eat it. Total came out to $9.50. We got a whole meal. That's amazing. Finally got done with everything. Overall, the quality looks pretty good to me, and I think it's gonna taste pretty fine. Smells good. It was a little interesting to make. Before you yep, have anything that may taste kind of funky, always get your drink, open it first, because it'll taste bad. You can wash it down, be safe. Remember that. <laughs> so here's the rice, steaming still. All right, All right here we go. Give it a shot. Mm, 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 mm. Need some tapatio? Wow, that tastes like, I'm gonna let you be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> let me try it, let me try it, let me try it. It's not bad, it's just like, it doesn't taste like it. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> it doesn't taste like rice. I feel like if you're at the dollar store and you see this rice, I feel like you might as well just spend the extra couple bucks to get like a bigger bag of real rice. That's not real rice. Okay, I'm gonna give me a shot. It smells like good broccoli. That's actually done. Not too bad. You can go with that. We just add some butter to that. It's perfect. Yeah, and your vegetables are a part of a well balanced lunch. Let's try the chicken at the same time. Ready? Mm hmm. Good shot. Mm-hmm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's it's tasty. Like, that's Panda Express. That's Panda Express. That's where they get it. This is exactly. <laughs> Overall, this whole entire meal, what do you give it out of five stars? I give it a strong seven. Seven out of five? Because of the chicken's chicken. The okay. Chicken's chicken. The rice, 
Slow me down. I'm gonna give it like a 4.5. 4.5? Yeah. With the chicken? Yeah. Man. Out of five, dad. Oh, out of five? <laughs> said seven. Yeah. Said seven. So how much you get old? I give it like a strong, yeah, a three and a half. 3.5. Okay. Overall, it's a great meal. As you guys can see, my dad's still eating it. So that's how you know mm -hmm. it's a good meal. I'm gonna wait till I get hungry again and wait for dinner. And I'm also gonna add dessert to my dinner as well. It is currently 9 p.m. It is finally time for dinner. Your boy is back to being hungry again. And in between the last time I picked up the camera, I actually went and got a massage. You know, your boy's doing some self-care. Probably one of the best massages of all time. But aside from that, someone is outside waiting for me to get in their car so we can go get dinner together. You actually caught me taking my B-reel. I want to be the B-reel. Yikes, awkward. I actually hate it, so I'm not going to post that. Wow. Anyway. You're not real then. I thought you were being real. That's not real. I don't... That's faking it. <laughs> my sister, everyone. Yay. Our next store that we pulled up to is called Dollar General. I've actually never heard of this place before. Have you? No, only Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. This is like brand new to me. So I'm in foreign land right now. We can do a dinner dessert because that usually goes back to back. I feel like. Yeah, in total, I think today we've only spent like 15 to 20 dollars, which is kind of crazy. They got lasagna. All their drinks are literally a dollar. Oh. Bro. This is not dinner, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? I already know. Oh, okay. Now you're talking. Okay. I have a suggestion. Dino nuggets. Dino nuggets with mac and cheese. That's fire. Starburst. Okay, to go on with your dessert. Mm. Love it. Orange. Are you serious? Yeah. You want orange juice? Yeah. Okay. I always get orange juice. Do I make you feel bad about my choice? Wait, with, with dino nuggets and mac and cheese though? I mean, all right. A little Star Wars pillow. So I can like rest my head when I'm done. Oh, cause you're gonna be tired after. Yeah. What are you, get, what are you trying to get, bro? Oh, barbecue? I got it. Excuse me, I'm already down here. It's okay. Okay, some reasons. I think I'm good. We could, uh, we could put it together. I can cover it. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Whatever she has. Famous or something? No, no. Oh. We make uh, videos for like um, Vine. Uh huh. Yeah, we're Viners. Oh, okay. It makes my sister emotional. Sometimes you annoy me, but then I think like <laughs> when you have the power to like make people happy or like help people out, she was like, she like, was, wait, you're kind of cool. She literally was like, oh, I'm gonna like put the two like. So it is bad. Yeah, and I was like, I literally feel like this, like, Do I'm something. like, oh, not even me, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, you're gonna do something? Nah, it was really cool though. I'm like really blessed to be able to do stuff like that. We got our dino nuggets. Well, dino buddies. We got our orange juice. I don't know why. Kit Kat. Starburst for our dessert. Oh my God. Ice cream. Mac and cheese. <sighs> All right, Cindy, what do you think? I'm genuinely so excited. I feel like I'm a child. Yeah, it looks like a three-year-old put this together. Where do you go back to when you saw that? Like when I was like five. Here we are with our mac and cheese, the classic. <laughs> oh my Yo, God, my chest is burning. My chest is burning right now. Help. <laughs> All the time uh, in the summer camp that I went to, they had these in the vending machines and you can buy them. Teen oh, Zone? At Teen Zone. It's like overall five to 10 minute process. It's super fast and it'll fill you up for the time being. Really good. Let's move on to the dino nuggets because. Nope, you are. It's a. Ter pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Cheers on the pterodactyl. <laughs> That was from the mac and cheese. Yeah, and talk in my direction after you do. Okay. It's kind of cold. <laughs> it's actually not that You're thinning out a little bit. It reminds me of like sad times in my life. <laughs> what are those things that you heat up? And oh my God, it was like those things that come in a, a blue tray and they had like a brownie. Is no, it no, no, no. It's like a Lunchable, but you have to heat it up. Okay, I think I have it. Kid Cuisine. They had nuggets, tic-tac-toe cookies, corn. Yes, and Bro. it was like watery though. Yes, the corn yeah. was like kind of nasty. It's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. wait, why is this corn like this watery? Was... Um, Before we head to our dessert, because that's where we're going to go to next, we also have this that you got. <gasps> I forgot, and my Star Wars. You got a Star Wars pillow. Mandalorian. And and it looks like a, a snuggle wrap. Whoa, wait, hold on, you're doing something. You're doing something, you're doing something. Yeah, no, nah, that, that's it. Here's our uh, dessert plate. It literally looks like we got this at like a birthday party. We got some Kit Kats, barbecue chips, and some tropical Starburst. Knowing you, you want the pink and red. How did you know? Wait, how did you know? Because I grew up with you, fam. But how did you like know? Like, Cause that's, you know that? that's, yeah, that's a known fact. Mm, have had candy, you said like yesterday. Wow, a whole 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's a okay. great dessert. Last but not least, the Kit Kat it says, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Mm. Now that's a dessert. Say, what do you give that meal out of five stars? One million. It doesn't take much to please me. That's all it takes to make my sister happy. It's kind of sad. Anyway. Why is that sad? I, I take it back, okay? It's not sad. It's, it's a good thing. And with that note, I'm going to give this a five out of five stars. Your meal was the first five stars of the day. Please drop a like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys would have picked at the dollar store. Sid, any last words? Peace out, everybody.